Today is just me playing Genshin, so sorry. If you wanted something else, it's just gameplay. 3. your brother would have sided with the Abyss. Well, keep your chin up. Paimon believes in both of you. And when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Right? He said we needed to reach the end of our journey. Paimon bets he still has lots more to tell us. And we won't find out what this journey is or where it will end unless we keep going. Aw, oh, don't mention it, partner. Travel buddies are supposed to look out for one another. Although, where should we go next? If we want to continue with the journey... Hmm... Oh, you mean the god that took your brother away in the first place? You're right. After all, everything that followed, all this confusion, it all started with her. Yeah. Paimon bets she's the key to understanding this whole mystery. Well, we've ruled out two gods so far, the Animo and Geo Archons. So, next... Hmm... Paimon doesn't think we can simply walk into Inazuma. Zhang Li said it was a closed nation. We'll have to find some other way in. <gasps> Why don't we ask someone from Inazuma how to gain entrance? someone already! Atsuko, in Leah Harbor! She's from Inazuma! Let's see what she has to say! I mean, good fortune, right? <sighs> I'm still learning to talk like a local. <laughs> Is there anything I can help you with? We wanted to ask, how do we get into Inazuma? Oh, so that's why you're here. Well, there is a way. Great! We came to the right person! But the chance of success is incredibly small. Huh. Incredibly small? Then how did you get out of Inazuma in the first place? It was in leaving Inazuma that I found out just how dangerous this method truly was. All I had to rely on was a little wooden raft that I'd put together myself. There was a storm raging ahead of me, and my pursuers were close on my tail. After I'd escaped their clutches, I floated on the open ocean for... I don't know how many days. My rations and fresh water supply soon ran out, and I remember getting to the point where I was sure I'd reached the end. Then, I blacked out. But, to my surprise, my journey didn't end there. Or to put it another way, a new beginning found me. Ah, that's right. I escaped by the skin of my teeth. The fact that I'm even alive to tell the tale must be a sign that the gods were watching over me. What a horrible journey! And you set off knowing how dangerous it was? Why? Well, because everything is just too restrictive over there. The atmosphere is so stifling. 
The Kanjo Commission subjects everyone leaving or entering the nation to a protracted approval process, and... I felt like I didn't belong there. Kanjo Commission? What's that? Along with the other two commissions, they oversee everything in Inazuma. We usually collectively refer to them as the Tri-Commission. I suppose they're equivalent to the Eight Trades under the Liyue Chising. One of the obligations of the Kanjo Commission is to conduct rigorous identity checks on all individuals leaving or entering in Azuma. All non-nationals are processed centrally on Rito upon arrival. Meanwhile, the Tenryo Commission is responsible for implementing the recently promulgated Vision Hunt Decree. They act like the executive arm of the Raiden Shogun's rule. Loyal, yet unfeeling. It doesn't feel good to speak ill of my home like this. But after spending so long under that oppressive atmosphere, I begin to lose all hope for the future. What I mean to say is, unless you have an extremely compelling reason to go to Inazuma, you should abandon your plans of trying to get there. <sighs> you should know that the sea around Inazuma is engulfed in a perpetual tempest of wind and rain. Supposing you survive that, you would still need to get past the samurai guards that enforce the Sakoku Decree, the closed nation policy of Inazuma. And even if you did manage to find a way, you'd still have to produce the necessary documentation at the Rito Center for processing Outlanders. Otherwise, you'd be kicked out immediately. Seems like they really don't want anyone setting foot in Inazuma, huh? They only set that up as a port to guarantee a supply of goods and information to the island. Most Outlanders would be unable to acquire the documentation needed. But if you really are set on going, there is one thing you could try. Uh, the raft idea sounds a little on the dangerous side. Plus, Paimon would definitely get seasick. That's not what I meant. You could ask someone from the Crux Fleet if they have some way of getting you to Inazuma. They're well known in Liyue. Voyaging far and wide has made them a well-traveled group with a wide range of experiences. They may just know how to break through the storm. You're right! Paimon sure Beto of all people will be able to get us there. Her crew is super strong. But Paimon wonders if she'll be willing to take the risk. The Alcor is the flagship of the Crux Fleet. I heard that it's currently anchored by Guyun Stone Forest on a supply run. This might be your best chance. Then there's no time to lose! Let's go find Captain Beto! This is so dull. After this, it's just key ice bridging and running so if you want skip to 1030. <gasps>
freeze. Dummy move here. Well, whatever. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. I knew you guys would come. <laughs> Kazuha. Paimon. Hmm. What a fascinating being. You two give off not only the essence of wind and earth, but also of... Yes. The stars. Huh? The fragrance of what now? That's the weirdest compliment Paimon's ever heard. Pay it no heed. I mean only to say I am certain that it is by fate, not chance alone, that we should meet. And that gives our encounter meaning. This young man is Kaidahara Kazuha, a temporary addition to my crew for reasons I won't bore you with. Occasionally he opens his mouth and flowers come out instead of words. With this fine ship and the soft sea breeze, would it not be romantically irresponsible of me not to acknowledge it with a line or two of poetry? <laughs> no, I can't argue with that. Okay then, once the clash is underway, I'll give you a chance to perform. Only if the mood takes me, of course. Poetry for poetry's sake tends to lack meaning. Hey, you don't want to pass this opportunity up too easily. Especially seeing as our great hero here might be in attendance. Oh, wait a minute, what's the clash? Uh, also, just to clarify, by great hero, do you mean... Huh? I thought you might be here to sign up. You're telling me you've never even heard of it? The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. We want those with real martial arts ability, not just people taking part for the fun of it. So, you've got nothing to worry about there? I don't think there's anyone out there who hasn't heard of you. Two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. Otherwise, things get a little... one-sided. <laughs> you must be feeling confident, but you might want to watch out. There are a few crouching tigers and hidden dragons lurking around in Liyue. And with Liu as savior taking part in the tournament, now that's gonna turn a few heads. I think we can expect a healthy turnout this time. But we didn't come here to take part in a martial arts tournament. Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time round is particularly sought after. Get this, it's a masterless vision. Supplied by myself, as a matter of fact. If the tournament champion can reawaken that vision, it belongs to them. Is there really such thing as a masterless vision? When a vision bearer dies, the light in their vision will fade away. But the shell that housed that light remains. As for whether this shell has any practical application, well, this remains to be seen. But my intuition tells me that while it remains in the world, it may just be possible for someone else to inherit it. Yep, 
And the way I see it, a vision is a badge of recognition from the gods. So if anyone's able to rekindle it, it's gotta be an individual of exceptional strength and talent. Organizing the Clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. So if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. Yeah, we're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma? You... want to go there? Well, why didn't you say so? Inazuma, no sweat. In that case, if you win the tournament, I'll give you a choice. Masterless Vision, or a ticket to Inazuma aboard the Alcor. Up to you. You just want her to take part in your tournament! <laughs> What's wrong with that? The more talent we have, the better the tournament will be. I couldn't let a competitor like you fall through the net. What are we gonna do? <sighs> Looks like we pretty much have to do this tournament if we want to get to Inazuma, huh? <laughs> Great! Then let's get you signed up. Head to the tournament arena in Guyun Stone Forest. Kazuha and I will be over soon. It seems like it will only be a matter of time before the answer is revealed. Well, I'll end it here because this is already too long. Me making thumbnail law. But anyway, bye.